worship for Ms. Keisha Summers, whose son was abducted, murdered, placed in the trash, and dumped over here in this landfill. First of all, I'd like to thank all the responders of the day one of the event to all the Zion police and different police forces, National Guards, the state's attorneys, officers, etc. Most important, we want to thank the Zion community who came together during this family time of need. The search parties who went out searching their garbage cans and wooded areas in this county and our surrounding community. The family is very depressed. We realize that the manpower that they had, they needed much more. The mother is calling out that one week today, Joshua Summers, five months remain lie in this landfill of garbage. On the day as today, we celebrate 50 years of the Dr. King speech. And this mother's grief of her son still can't be located. We appeal to the Illinois governor, the U.S. attorney, Eric Holder, and even President Obama. Should four days of searching be enough how can this mother put closure? In 2011, with 40 people, including the FBI and the child abductor response team, searched through 6,000 tons of trash, it could take up to six weeks. The technology in place, how that put us in a better position. They didn't even give us six days. We understand that there's a lot of trash. And we ask that they continue to search. Volu let the volunteers go in there. Let, let's go in there. For this mother, we understand at this point what she would get back. And she understands that, but she says she can't put closure. She can't put a, a memorial together until she has something. The uh, scientific analyst, that's uh, available to be done in this particular situation should be able to go in there and conduct a righteous search. That's it.